Welcome to the Black Man Lab After Flow Session 3. We got some young brothers in here, a particularly young brother. What's up, Iverson? Nothing. How you doing, man? Good. Good, good, good. So I want y'all to introduce yourself. We're going to start with you, Iverson. Well, you know, tell them your name, man. My name is Iverson Freeman. And I'm in fifth grade. Put, I your, go to put your hand down, boy, so they can see your, see your locks, see your face. Go ahead. Speak. I go to High Tower Trail Elementary School. I'm in fifth grade. My teacher is Miss Sharp. All right. All right. I hear you. Go ahead. Get, can we get him a round of applause? Let's get him. <laughs> ah, look at him. You like that. See, that's Keith. Keith got skills over there. All right, brothers. Um, Y'all introduce yourselves, man. Uh, yes. So my name is Enrique Morgan. I'm a uh, visual designer for United Way of Greater Atlanta. Um, I was invited here by uh, Eldridge Washington a friend of mine we go way back way back so a visual artist a vi tell what yeah tell us what that so is that's like the fancy a fancy word for graphic designer gotcha uh, now that we are in 2019 we can do more than just print work yeah traditionally graphic designers were just print artists but now we can do things from web to mobile uh design so now also user experience so yeah all right so that kind of puts everything in a in a nutshell in terms of visual design. We yeah. may have to holler later because I'm interested in all of that. Yeah, most definitely. All right, all right, bet, bet. What's up, brother? Uh, how you doing, there, brother? Good, man. Introduce yourself. Um, I'm brother Chucky. Um, I came into the brotherhood um through Eldridge, all right, Washington, which is my um cousin. Um, I'm known as a, of course, a choreographer. Um. Et cetera, et cetera. So you think you dance, MTV, BET, all the above. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> so so wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You mm -hmm. can't just 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 slide past with I'm a choreographer and I mean give so, a little feedback. Yeah. So you do that? You yes. Um, I started um the regular thing like you know being in school around those times when people was in games. You know you had like different little turf wars where you would be dancing against people. So I started off just dancing. You know, we started forming groups, started winning talent shows. From there, I got picked up and, like, I mean, basically the rest is history. And then I got offered a opportunity to, to basically become a choreographer, um, instructor on MTV, America's Best Dance Crew. And, like, hey. All right, all right. Yeah, man, you are lucky that the way this is set up, we cannot dance up in here. I would ask you, man, to teach a brother something. Yeah. So ne next time now, mm -hmm. it's coming. Yes, sir. All right, there it is. Um, you brothers had the opportunity. This was your first time? Yes, sir. Your first time as well? Yes, sir. Tell the tell folk, what is it that you felt like you got out of tonight? What What were you expecting, and then what did you receive? Um, me personally, I, <coughs> I took I took two notes, uh, two statements that stood out to me. One is uh, there is an alternative behavior, um, and for me, that's it's like we have two options when we are faced with any issues in life. And traditionally or normally, we would f do what's normal for us, but today that kind of spoke to me because that gives me another option. There's another option, whether it's doing the right thing or what's best for me in my life right now. Um, so there's always, a, there's always a better road you can go uh, down. So and that, that really stood out to me. And you, you in terms of self-love, being able to go down that other road and preserve yourself in- Correct. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. And, uh, also, um, a lot of most people don't know this about me, but growing up, I had uh, anger issues, um, and I didn't know that until I got older and had to go to, you know, anger management. Um, but that also, just hearing that when in anger management, something I learned is that you know, think before you speak. Mm -hmm. As simple as that. Um, do you want to go down this road, or do you want to? Preserve. Do you love yourself enough to say no to something that you know um, is not right, or something that is tempting you to like be destructive? Be destructive, yeah. right? Um, and 
you counted three, it's just three second uh, thinking is like one, two, three in your head. Whether you want to hit somebody or you want to curse someone out, you have that three seconds to think about what you want to do. Man, we um, need that three second rule all over the hood. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> <He did. laughs> yeah. Oh, bro. Which, three seconds. Three seconds. Yeah. One. Which goes back to the alternative behavior. Right. So you have three seconds to decide. Think it through. Think it through. But yeah. No doubt. No doubt. What one thing or anything you you heard or felt or experienced that made you, you know, gave any value to, to this evening? Um, I would first say just like what we're doing right now, the Black Man Lab, you know, the Black Man Lab, um, motivating and empowering um, leadership skills, you know, all those things that are like essential to the growth of a black, a young black man. Cause before we are actually, you know, as what, what most brothers said, grown man, which I, I actually take that thing to, um, into consideration dealing with a grown man. Like I feel that I'm a growing man because I'm forever growing, you know? Right. Right. Like the, the, the triple uh, C's comfortable to your content till you become complacent and you can become set in your ways and not being able to identify who you are or, you know, what you stand for, what are you living for? What is, what is your purpose? Or even, you know, who you, who you are as a black man in America. So, um, yeah. I just like, you know, black power, of course. Um, you, you, you feel Baba Mukasa. Yeah. <laughs> Baba Mukasa yeah, was up in here. Yeah. That man was going in. Definitely. No doubt. Um, no doubt. And, and actually for him, um, his first question was the one, how can somebody love, say they love somebody else when they don't love themselves? Tell, yeah. Say the say the question you asked in there, Iverson. How can you say you love somebody else? How how would you look at somebody that says they look they love you but you can't but they don't love themselves? Yeah, yeah. That was a um you asked some great questions, man. You know that? Yes, sir. You yes, asked, sir. You asked some really, really you know, you you it's clear to me that you were in there thinking. You know, you're not sometimes, you know, young people come and they sit in and they check out but you're thinking, um, and we appreciate that. What what was um, anything that you heard tonight that that resonated with you as a as a fifth grader? There's a lot of stuff I gotta think. Okay, all right, we gonna give you a minute, brother. So One, think two, of, three. You, yeah, just so you you think about anything that you heard or said that made you. You know, say, oh, okay, I, I can feel that. I vibe with that. Um, I appreciate that. I think it was how we were actually talking about how we need to love ourselves more. Instead of just thinking it, we were actually putting it out. Putting it out. There it is. Y'all, man, y'all better know Iverson, man. This brother is, is moving. And did you get a chance? What did you tell me you wanted to do on the, on the ride over? Who would you want to meet or what? I wanted to go to school to be an engineer. And did you meet an engineer today? Yes, sir. Uh, that looked like you? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, not exactly like you. I had to think about that. Yeah, but it's, you, you met a black engineer. Good. And so we're going to connect y'all. Um, brothers, we always, we talk about habits, rituals, and disciplines. Because what we know is that it's not the one thing that we do on the one day. But it's what we do every day that makes us who we are as men, as black men, and as, as we talk about as being warriors, healers, and builders of our community. What, if you all could share with the rest of the Black Man Lab world, everywhere, wherever they're at, what's the one or two things quickly that you do on a daily basis that allows you to keep moving forward? So we'll start with, we'll start with you. Um... Yeah, so as simple as this may sound, um, every day I make sure to make my bed. That's the first thing I do uh, before I do anything else. And I was once, I, I forget the year, but I was watching this, uh, this talk from a gentleman, I forget the name, but he said, uh, if you can't do the simplest thing in, in the morning or in your day, what makes you think you can tackle the, you know, other the more complex, the more complex things, yeah. right? So it's just as simple as making up your bed. You know, you can you can have a stressful day. You can come back to a made up bed. Um, also, 
I like to. Ho- hold on for a second. You make your bed, Iverson? Boy, you better make your bed. I'm going to tell your mama. <laughs> yeah. And it's Go funny, ahead, bro. And it's funny because my mom always uh, told me to make my bed. And I never did until I heard him say that. Yeah. It's and, a powerful concept. And I'm not saying, you know, I do it uh, every day in the sense of I, do, I don't miss. I do it m- more um, in a week um, that I do in like, because it's, let me, let me go back. Um, I make my bed, you can cut this part out, but yeah, I make my bed in the sense that just doing this consistently, um, can create greater habits because now I tackle one thing, now I can tackle other things and throughout the day, um, and just drinking water. Yeah. You're, you're, you're a big water drinker. I've been yes. working on my water drinking as well. Chuck, what's up, bro? What what do you do on a daily basis? Um, I get my mind right. Like, um, I think it was another brother that was here before. He said Mindful Works. Yeah, um, his that, company, Mindful Works. Right, right, yeah. Right. Um, actually, I think the mind, your mind frame and just the way that you think, your viewpoint, your perspective changes, like, a lot dealing with um the outcome of your day Mm because if you take everything oh you know what you just been uh you've been funny or you just being silly to everything that bothers you you know your perspective your outlook on life like dealing with every situation and how you evaluate it is going to be different yeah 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 so obviously what do you do every day i mean when i when i wake up in the morning i try to think it's going to be a good day so I don't get in trouble at school. Um, that that that's I, a good start. So yeah. I try to have positivity to start my day in a good way. Yeah. Well, man, um, you brothers are are it in terms of what Black Man Lab is all about. It's about in, intergenerational conversations where we can connect one to another and encourage each other and learn from each other. And I'm learning from all of y'all, including the fifth grader. Normally, we we have at some point at each gathering, the oldest man and the youngest child stand together so that we can see what intergenerational dialogue and camaraderie looks like and to be in fellowship. And tonight, I would think we had a about a four-year-old and we definitely had an 82-year-old brother, brother Dorsey. So it was there again. You all are a part of it, and we appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for coming. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much.